Whoops. Be careful there, Chuck. Don't puke all over. You know what, my friends? I am surprised at how much bench time and work I'm getting on my model kits lately. Um, I thought I'd be out camping and touring around on bike and stuff like that, but I'm having fun on the bench. Building this year has been totally awesome. Cheers to that. Cheers to you. Okay, after that intro, let's show you which is... Blah, 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 blah. Maybe we won't. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I don't got everything out yet. I'm missing some pieces on my bench. Hold on. Then I'll turn the camera around. Okay, what I wanted to highlight was the carbs that I had found through some of my parts box boxes and to show you what I was going to put on this engine, this fabulous 427 sock engine. Now that it's fitting in there, look at this. It fits like a freaking glove. The mounts fit perfect to the engine and even that tranny mount is just like it was made for this body. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in total shock. So I did do the detailing of the blue valve covers on the magnesium. I think they are. And the carbs, even though they're kind of ugly, they're not really a nice carb. Whoops, sorry. I'm just going to mock it up here quickly. Uh, it's just going to go on like that. But the reason why I'm using those carbs are, I, I'm going to go with these air horn, air uh, ducting, sorry, air horns. I'm going to use these ducts off of the uh, Bippy, whatever, or the current issue is called the Bippy Sweet Bippy or Bippy um, Ford Galaxy kit. So we're going to use these somehow. We're going to make them fit in there. Uh, am I explaining things proper um even the exhaust the exhaust fits just just right in there it tucks up underneath there so we got that the other thing i got is i got the interior primed yeah it's a little rough and looks a bit ugly but that's okay you know what nobody's gonna see this except for you and me probably it more or less is going to be more shellfish than anything else i mean shellfish as in shelf model kit the other thing is I can't close these things up. I, I would like to close the wheel wells up and make it look proper, but that's gonna take all my room of the tub that I put in there, factory tub to the factory frame. So we're gonna probably just leave it like that. Is what it is, it's okay. I can live with it. Once everything is black, you won't notice it. So uh, what else do we have in store? I guess I could put a light piece of cardboardy or not cardboard that plastic cardboard stuff in there kind of and just paint it black but we'll see I don't know that's a long way off I could probably start painting some black this weekend I've got to get the hauler suspension painted black so I might do that at the same time and what else did I have to say I don't know I did lob the battery off I'm probably not going to detail it and put it in the back of here because you'll never see it anywhere. Unless I, t yeah, no, we won't even go there. Let's skip out of that. So that's what we got going on. So uh, I don't know what other, other update I'll do yet on this. So other than just a lot of blah, blah, blah today. Hmm. And before we start our next video, we'll pause for this 30 second commercial identification break. Alright, it's been a day or two later, 
and we got some painting done. I wanted to get some black started on this and to see how things turned out. So camera, turn around anytime, chuck it out. So we painted the black bottom, which probably shouldn't have went flat. I should have went with a semi. Uh, ha, so I might have to redo that to make it match. Um, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. But I actually kind of went primer first just to kind of coat those tubs. And I did the primer on the inside so that is ready to go on that also. Which actually, hindsight 2020, I'm going to paint this flat. Sorry, I'm doing things wrong. We're going to paint this. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep it a semi-gloss. And da, 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 I wanted this. Yeah, that's going to go the same color except for the springs. So we're going to go semi, semi, semi. I have to cut down the drive shaft. And we're not going to do the models with Glen thing and eliminate it. We're just going to cut it down to shorten it to fit this big monster engine. Uh, so we got some paint detailing to do there. And what else? Uh, interior paint, I guess. And uh, oh yeah, seats. Got the seats done. So that will be that will be the look. I like this on the interior. I'm okay with that. It's not super glossy, but there is some I guess call it semi-gloss how about that that's what we're gonna go with and uh, all the AFX cars were built with black interiors so that's why we didn't go in any other color in 1965 that was the interior colors on these so in 1966 we're gonna say it's the same option so that is my story and I'm sticking with things. Many, many minutes later. Actually, it's more than many minutes later. It's a day or two later. I lost track of time, but that's okay. Because here's what we ended up doing, my friends. We blackened the interior with a couple different shades of blackness going on. So this was actually a gloss black that I let kind of dry whatever, including the seats. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to do another coat on the seats. For the pan, I took uh, acrylic paint. Oh, hold on here. This one here, the Dollar Tree Special. I used this flat black and put that down for carpet instead of doing um, flocking. I think it looks somewhat accurate-ish. And then in the back panel, I instead, that gloss coat, I just took some, oh, hold on again. Took, took some of this stuff here, some Mod Podge, the matte finish, not gloss, and I brushed it over that uh, b gloss black, and I've got kind of a semi-sheen. So the couple things that I forgot to do is paint the dash, so we got to do the dash, steering wheel, some small stuff like that. Anything else? Uh, radiator, things like that. All the little pieces that are going to go black. And I also matched up the complete there. So I'm just about ready to start gluing things together. But I'm thinking I'm spending too much time on this and it's going to be done like in no time. I've got till April of next year on this project, so I'm getting way in over my head on it. So that means we should be moving on to the 1970 Mopar build and getting the second car for my hauler started. So I put out a survey which got which one of these you would like to see me build. I know my pick and I will tell you guys as you're choice and what we're actually going to build next project so a b c or b c a or c b a are none of the above no just kidding it's going to be one of these cheers my friends thanks for watching if you made it this far i appreciate it very much so